Hey guys, Andrew McComb here, the founder and CEO of Golf University. In this Golf University tip from the pro, I'm with Mark Gibson, the head pro at the RACV Royal Pines Golf Resort in Queensland, Australia. Mark's going to teach us how to eliminate the soul-destroying putting yips. But before we start, and if you haven't done so already, I encourage you to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so that I can notify you every time a new episode is released. And if you stick around until the end of this episode, I'm going to give you access to our famous Golf University Skill Assessment, which has helped thousands of our members, just like you, find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. Plus, we'll give you free access to the specific video coaching program from one of our world-class golf instructors, so that you can feel more confident, consistent, and in control of this area of your game. But before I help you find and fix this area of your game, let's find out how to eliminate the putting yips. This tip from the pro brought to you by Golf University, the world's premier golf improvement program. Here we're working on about taking back control of your putting, and it's really about eliminating the yips. The yips come from a couple of sources. The first one being, most people that have the yips are so involved in the outcome, it raises their anxiety level. Now, to help you get rid of that, I've got a couple of tips. The first thing I'm going to say is, we want to make sure that you get involved in this end. When I hit this putt, you'll actually see that I've had that ball placed on top of a ball marker. Now, the idea of that being, I want to hit this putt and I want to see the marker before I ever look up. Too many players that hit poor short putts do it because as they're hitting the putt, they're actually moving forward because they want to see where that out ball's going. That look at the outcome's a real problem. The other part of having the yips is about having too much involvement with the small muscles, making your hands do too much. You'll see here, what I'm doing, I'm actually setting myself so that my elbows are tied in against my body, and also to help lessen my grip pressure, I've actually got a fatter grip on my putter, and that's a real help. So in this case, I'm taking my setup, I've got my elbows in by my side, my arms aren't moving, it's actually the big muscles of the chest that are moving. When I can hit the putt, not using the small muscles, but making sure my chest is moving the putter, then I am definitely going to eliminate the yips. I'm sure that's going to help your golf. Well, there it is. I hope you enjoyed this Golf University tip from the pro. Put a yes in the comments below if you found it useful, or ask a question in the comments if you need even more help. And as promised earlier, we want to help you find and fix the one thing that's killing your golf scores, your handicap, and your game. So to access the Golf University Skill Assessment and free video coaching program, go to golfuniversity.tv forward slash golf skill assessment, or click the link in the description below. And to help you feel even more confident, consistent, and in control of your golf game, I also want to invite you to join the 19th hole clubhouse and golf channel. This is where our passionate and inspiring members belong to watch, learn, grow, meet and share inspiration as golfers. You can join the 19th hole for free at the 19thhole.club or click the link in the description below. And as a member, you'll have access to hundreds of golf lessons, travel episodes and documentaries. Plus you'll get member only discounts on our golf schools, tournaments, travel tours and signature programs. And if you're a golf addict like me, you can also join our members only Facebook group by clicking the link in the description below. And remember, if you've enjoyed this lesson or you'd like to ask some questions or you've even got an idea or a suggestion for another lesson, leave a like and a comment below and I'll do my best with my coaches to answer them for you. And if you've got any other golfing friends who'd benefit from this lesson, hit the share buttons below as well. And remember to hit the subscribe and the bell icon too, so I can notify you every time a new episode's released. Thanks for watching, sharing, and commenting, guys. I'll see you in the 19th hole.